How's it going? It's a hell of a win. Um, you know, that goes without saying. We knew it was going to come down to the fourth quarter. Uh, that's a good opponent. You know, they've got a lot of skill and they play hard and and uh, we know what they're about in their own home too. So uh, that's a credit to our players, man. And uh, I'm proud, proud of a number of people in this organization. Um, you know, certainly proud of the coaches uh, and the players. Um, and this is special. This is special. It's something you don't get to do all the time. They're always special to win a division. I don't care how many of them you get because of the work that goes into it. But to do something that that's hadn't been done in 30 years for a team is special. And that's a special group of men back in there that are uh, staying tame at this point. Dan, your, uh, your first game in this building as a Lions coach was a, a tough one, an emotional one for you. The here, just what, what emotions are, are you experiencing in this moment? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, ex I'm pretty ecstatic, man. I, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is special. This is special, but, you know, like I said, it's a special group. And um, this is just the beginning. We feel that way. So, there again, I, I couldn't be more proud of the guys. Well, no different than how this game went, right? Things uh, you you um, you know you have to battle there in the first half, and they are able to score right before halftime. You come out second half, they go back down the field and they score, and then uh, we we put together two drives, and all of a sudden you're back up two scores, and then. And then we don't, and defensively we start holding, and next thing you know, you're at the end of this game, and all, and it's just going back and forth. But nobody got frazzled, nobody uh, lost their cool. Um, and when we needed it, in, cr in the crunch times, we made plays. And, and that's what good teams do. They find ways to, to win the game instead of the other way, you know? Um, and that's not an easy thing to do, but when you got the right, the right guys who who mesh together and they work for each other and they care about each other and they're accountable to each other, it makes a difference. Those two drives you mentioned back to back, I think that's the behind. I'm curious, you go back to you and Brad talk in the first few times you guys are handing out, talking about what program and how you're envisioning you. You imagine that on the road, that kind of noise, vision on the line 30 years of history. Yeah, are you just saying? You, you, yeah, you, you first took over, you and Brad, is this yeah. thing you're thinking about? You're yeah, about. I mean, I, you, well, you, Put yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I don't know if you, you know, certainly to know that it, it's going to end, you're going to do this on the road uh, and get the first one. But yeah, you, um, I know this, when you're around good teams and it's, and it's designed the right way and you got the right coaches and, and people in management, you got the right GM and the owner and the team, all, all of it, um, you just find ways. You find ways to, uh, you can endure in any environment. It doesn't matter what the score is, it doesn't matter the elements, um, it doesn't matter where the momentum's at at that time, you'll find a way to, to overcome it. And, and that's really what we got here. We got a group of guys that has found a way to overcome it. And look, we've learned hard lessons through a period of time here. I mean, we learned a hard one here. You know, we first year we we did. You know, we were basically found a way to we fought back in it and got went for two to win the game, and then and then we gave up uh, a big shot right before the end of the game for them to kick it for the win. You know, and then. Last year we, we had it, you know, we're up and you just got to close it out and we didn't, we didn't handle the four minute well. Offensively, we could have closed that game out and, and I made an awful decision. You learn from those, man. And uh, it makes you better. And you hate that it happens to you, but it, it does make you better. You learn from it and everybody because most of that team, most of that core is still here from last year. I mean, that's, that is our core. So, um, Anyway, I'm just, I, look, I'm proud of, of, of everybody. This has been a long time coming, and I, look, I'm proud of the, I'm proud of all the, the Lions fans out there that have been dying for this for years, man. That was for you, too, you know? I know it's been a long time, so um, you deserve that, and it's not over. That's just one. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he, if he, 
the last two weeks, two critical turnovers. My guy steps in the starting line three weeks ago and is making really plays for you guys. His performance. Just another outstanding performance. Um, that's, you know, here we go, man. Uh, week two of this, and he, he's not just out there playing football and, you know, solid performance. He, he's, he's a factor. He's a factor. Um, and he's just getting better and better, you know. He's, he's instinctive, and you see the athletic ability. He, he plays physically, um, and he, he's just getting better and better. I mean, he really is. It's, we're going to have a good problem to have when Ducey comes back here. I mean, that's, you know, that just brings another playmaker to the mix. Um, so he's doing well. Yeah, you're talking about Jefferson? Yeah, yeah well, I mean, we're... <laughs> he made a couple of plays where he's doubled. I mean, you know, we're in good position. We just can't, you know, look, the guy's going to make some plays. So I think more than anything, it, you're in the position of, all right, next play. I mean, that really is what it is. Uh, it's not, you know, what happened? What did he do? Blah, blah, blah. It, it's, okay, here we go, man. You're right into the next one uh, because the next one's going to be the one that's going to create the stop or the takeaway. So I thought we handled all that well. Um, was it perfect? No, but that's, that's the nature of the... That's the nature of it, you know. Guy's a hell of a player. <laughs> he is. Hey, can you share it all with you? I'll come to you next. Hey, can you share it all you said to Sheila Listen, just excitement. Uh, it was just, just excitement. I mean, the, the, the look on her face and and uh, just a pure joy um, and happiness and watching the celebration with the coaches and the players and everybody, you know, watching her interact. I mean, it's just, it feels good. And so, you know, I promised her we'd get her that and we did that. And that's one. Do you more again and maybe some young players on this team that have no more winning than losing? And certainly they played a key role in the success this year. Yep. But what about a guy like Taylor Decker? Yeah, you, you feel for those. You know, there's something about that that is that does make it special. And like I said, look, you'll never forget the first one you get. And this is the first one. And and you're right, the young guys, this is, for the most part, kind of what they know. And that's a good thing. That's the way you want it. But for the old guard, which, you know, for Decker and for Frank and, and uh, Germ and Will Harris and Romeo and, I mean, you just, you keep going. Tracy. Um, Man, that's kind of, you know, you want that for them. You kind of feel like this first one is a little bit for you too, you know, and uh, because we couldn't have done it without them and, and all that they've been through um, really to get to this point, you know, all the work that they put in, all the hope, all the belief, all the systems, um, you know, and it just doesn't, it doesn't work out. And, and for them to just believe one more time in what we're doing and trust us and mesh with us and give us what they got, they're one of the biggest reasons we even got this one. Um, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. And it's special because they, they deserve that. They deserve that. The whole line showed up again. They did, they did an outstanding job. There, there was nothing easy about getting ready for this defense. Uh, I thought Ben put together a really, really good game plan for them on how we, we needed to attack them. And the O-line, um, you know, we felt like as long as we got it ID'd properly, which we felt good about Frank and JG finding the right looks, um, we, did, we did that well. And, and as long as we did that, we felt like we could hold up, and we did, man. We did better than hold up. And golf found, the, found our guys, because there's holes. You just got to find them, and they don't make it easy. And then our guys did the rest. You know, Gibbs did the rest. St. Brown did the rest. Um, you know, speed and space, man, and let them go. All right, thanks, guys. We'll have Frank, Taylor, Garrett, and Nick. Did you take that on in front of the players? No, I did, some, I did put on the hat. Oh. I got this, yeah. Good luck.